you can see the weather right now, it's, uh, it's cloudy around 17 Celsius and uh, it's a little bit of rain, so it's very much west coast. I mean, it's kind of like, a, it's a big city, the second biggest in Sweden, but it's kind of small too. Just walking around here now, I, I notice a lot of uh, person I've seen before, so it's kind of like a big but small city. This is so much Gothenburg you can get. A church with fish. <laughs> New coach Jim Montgomery was here eating lunch with me and uh, I took him to one of those uh, fish restaurants, crayfish restaurants, because he really wanted to, to go to one of those when he was visiting Gothenburg. And actually when I was a kid, I didn't even like fish and everything like that, but started to learn now. I would say this is the most common to, to like west, west coast in Sweden like crayfish usually in august you have like crayfish party and then you buy a lot of crayfish and shrimps and you like building your own sandwich with uh, onions and then you're squirting some lemon on it that's just typical like swedes in august but literally on the west coast it's really common this one is the mackerel and it's actually a, a soccer team that's like called the mackerels because they have those like stripes on their jerseys, green and black, so they're called the mackerels. <laughs> it's really nice to have this with all like the, the houses and everything here. It's beautiful, I think. It's just so different from how it looks in, in the US compared to how it looks in Europe or Sweden. Really common to Sweden, those kind of horses. They're in it from, uh, from Leksand. It's like, uh, it's called Dalahest. Uh, that's really, really Swedish. Cafe Husaren. That's, uh, that's known for their cinnamon buns. They're huge, so we're gonna go in and try one. Oh yeah, look at that. You can see it. Uh, I'm going to have a kanelbulle. Good luck. This is how big it is. <laughs> I don't know where to start. Mmm, it's really good. When I saw John the first time, I saw him, they played on the road with the under 20 team in Fralunda, and uh, he was on the bench, so I couldn't pay any attention to him, but all of a sudden he got a shift and I didn't know who he was prior to this. And he just stepped up and he had an open ice in neutral zone, he just closed on a guy. Uh, and that was it, that's all he played that game, but that's how he, uh, you know, brought the attention to himself. Coaches, stalls, and I had my stall right here, I think, one of those three it was. You practice so much, you go to school after, so you do, you do all those practices in the morning, more like individual skills, and uh, you spend almost more hours here than you do at home, so uh, you're on the road too a lot, playing like in Stockholm, it's like five hours with bus, so you bus around a lot too in the junior, so this is basically where you put in all your work to get where you are today, so this place means a lot to me for sure. Hello, Stina. This are. What's that? Oh, it's them. This is where I built up my my big body, <laughs> my big uh, 80 kilos. <laughs> the gym, my perfect spot. Langquist, Alfredson, Axelson, Anderson. This is uh, the guy who took care of me for three, four years, making sure I'm. I'm ready for the NHL. <laughs> <laughs> John was uh, tall as now and uh, thin, <laughs> very thin and uh, pale, <laughs> yeah. like now. But now I have a pretty good summer here, so it's uh, a little bit of color on his face. So it's a uh, good kid. This is where we hang out. Uh, when it's good weather, and obviously it's been really good this summer, so uh, it's been a lot of 
spending time right here. Usually the weather is like this in the summers, so we've been lucky this year. Kind of happy about this uh, pool table here. <laughs> Pretty sick. So everyone that's here is counted as my family. It's my mom and dad and my, my brother, and then it's my girlfriend and uh, her family, and uh, it's my aunt and my cousins, and then it's also obviously my grandpa and grandmother. Grandpa. Hello. Hey. Hello. <laughs> He means everything to me. My grandfather was always with me, uh, driving me to, to tournaments and uh, uh, kids' games and, and hockey games. And uh, he was always there for me, driving me around. And he's kind of been one of those guys that's uh, been there the whole time and he has, hasn't missed a game, I, I believe. I told him that and teach him and told him again. That just keep going all the time. In the end, you will be. You, you're gonna make it, and it's true, it's the way it is. <laughs> They've been there the whole time, uh, driving me to the rinks when I was a kid, and they let me do all the things I wanted to do uh, when I was young, and I know I wasn't the, the easiest kid to take care of, probably. I was kind of up and down and everywhere all the time. I was a kid with a lot of energy, I guess. I know from school we had phone calls every other day from from the teachers. He's he's climbing. He's up on the roof, uh, and I couldn't do anything. I was half an hour from there, so I just told them, tell him to go down, and he, but they didn't dare to to let him climb down by himself. But he always succeeded in that as well. With uh, two other brothers, two three kids, uh, three boys, I think it's uh, kind of hard to to get some free time alone when you have uh, three kids kind of the same age uh, doing, uh, doing hockey and other sports, so uh, they mean a lot to me for sure.